on this episode, a mission menu. Tell me a little bit about this place. We have $300,000 sunk into this business. So basically, your whole family has everything riding on this. Exactly. Dan, your balls smell good. Are you kidding me? Look Are you kidding this guy me? Over here. Strolling in here as if it was 7 o'clock? Well, next time you pick up This is going to be a show, man. How about that? Just shut the up. At the heart of every great restaurant is great food. My name is G, and this is my team. We're like the United Nations of chefs. We'll go anywhere and try anything to create the perfect menu. Cooking is what we do. Saving restaurants is our mission. We got a call from a Vietnamese Thai restaurant called Lemongrass in Morris Plains, New Jersey. It's an industrial area surrounded by strip malls and offices. They've been open for a couple of years, but they've been struggling to keep a steady amount of business. Diane and I are heading over there to find out what's missing in the equation. So this is the restaurant. This is it. It's actually kind of nice, man. I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, from the outside, you wouldn't be able to tell. It kind of looked like a little strip mall in a way. Yeah, yeah we, get, we get that a lot here. That's James. He's a young entrepreneur trying to follow in his family's footsteps of running his own business. But so far, his efforts have fallen short. So tell me a little bit about this place. Uh, well, we've been here for about two years now. Um, it's the dream of myself and my parents for as long as I can remember. We put everything we got, and we decided to open a business together. So you have family that's involved with it? What is it, your, your parents? Uh, my parents are involved, and so is my oldest sister. We have $300,000 sunk into this business, my own personal savings, my dad's retirement money. Mm -hmm. My sister put her house up on this in order to get this place up and running. Basically, your whole family has everything riding on this. Exactly. You know, what do you need to make every week just to break even? We got to make at least $70,000 a month in order to break even. We're trying to keep our heads above float at this okay. point. Okay, okay. What do you think the issues are? I feel like the issues, in my opinion, is the menu. Uh, I feel like I really need to bring something in here that would pop, that would bring people through the doors, a couple signature dishes. Where are you from, may I ask? We're from Vietnam. OK, oh, okay. OK, so the restaurant here serves Vietnamese and Thai cuisine. OK. The thought process for the concept of the menu was using my own background of being partially Vietnamese and having family in Thailand to have dishes come out almost as a fusion with the two cuisines. We're excited to get started, but the first thing we want to do is, can we taste your food? Certainly. All right. But I'll tell you what, not even looking at the items on the menu, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to four pages double-sided right now. Yeah. And I'm confused. And I don't even know that there's Vietnamese and, you know, and, and Thai cuisine right. split here. I mean, I can't tell. This just kind of is one right on top of each other. Customers don't want to read a novel. They want confidence. Nine out of 10 times, when you see this many dishes on the menu, it means very few are any good. There we go. Here's the tum yum soup. This is the lychee salad. Here is the chicken pad thai. And this is the vermicelli bowl. This is our deep fried soft shell crab. And here we have our red curry. Please enjoy. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Let's try the pad thai. Pad thai. It's not done correctly. The rice noodles are overcooked. You can even see on the slices of chicken, like how there's no finesse. No. This is just way too greasy. It's like I have lip gloss on. I can't eat this stuff. A traditional pad thai, it should like be free flowing on a plate. But this pad thai, it's like congealed, oily, clumpy mess. I can't even tell the flavors in this plate. OK, let's try the meatballs. Now, sure. these meatballs, they're lo looking like they're over-processed. And this is, there's something funny going on in here. I'm telling you. It's tough and flavorless. I can't eat this. I can't eat this. Everything is inundated with grease. Yeah. Asian food isn't supposed to be greasy. Mm -hmm. Asian foods bold with flavors. Yeah. They have distinct tastes. They're spicy, sour, garlic, this, that, the other. This was like eating a greasy shoe. I feel bad for James and his family. I mean, I know his heart's in the right place, but this menu is as bad as I've ever had. Have a seat, buddy. So what'd you guys think? How honest do you want us to be? I um, need you guys to be totally honest with me, so I need to know what I can do. This does not represent a restaurant at the caliber that you want it to be. The food was horrible. You built this place 
this food does not even come close to what your intention is. So when do you need this menu by? I need this by the end of the week. I gotta figure this out as soon as possible. What else is new? All right, so we're gonna get to work and we'll get back to you soon. All right, Thank you very much. If this business fails, we don't lose only the financial stake in this, but the time that we've spent as a family and all that hard work and sweat that we put into this place. We need this to work, we really have no more.